Juice's Engine Industries Tay, will complete the delivery of domestic TS-1400 engine to power ATAK and Gokbi Rotorcraft, to Turkish Aerospace Industries Tay this month. Development of the Turkish TS-1400 turboshaft engine began in February 2017 under TEI's Turboshaft Engine Development Project TEDP. It will power T-129 ATAK and Gokbi helicopters, and Herkus training aircraft. Although the basic structure of the engine powering the helicopters will be similar, there may be some changes since ATAK is a military attack rotorcraft while Gokbi is a civilian chopper. Gokbi is almost non-maneuverable compared to ATAK. This is a situation that affects the internal structure of the engine. A situation that affects many areas from the cooling of the turbine to the pressurization of the bearings, to the compressor inlet of the engine. At the end of the day, we will see two TS-1400s, but no doubt there will be two very different TS-1400s, Kader Doğan, part of the Turkish engine project. The engine, which will be driven by 1,400 horsepower, is planned to be in serial production in 2024, after eight years of development. In October, after the engine was fired up for the first time, Tay evaluated and made some modifications. Talking about the development, Doan said, there are many sub-systems such as particle separators, anti-icing systems, cabin pressurization valves and these need to be integrated with certain phases until the final engine. After all these systems are integrated, we will see the final engine. Once the development is complete, he said, the engine powering Gokbi would require an EASA certification. It is subject to EASA certification. This can bring about many changes from military engine version, as certification processes are challenging. He added, there is a certification process called CSE here. You have to keep everything under control, from the diameter of the dust particles that will enter the engine, to the amount of ice that will form inside, to the amount of nitrogen oxide that the engine will emit. Therefore, all of these subsystems are very important. It will be a tough process, but I think the final engine can be fleshed out next year.